What's up fellow reef fanatics? Today we're talking corals for beginners. Today I'm starting a brand new series entitled Corals for Beginners. Over the next few weeks we're going to be discussing different corals that are great for those of you who are just getting your feet wet in this hobby. If this is your first time checking out the Coral Reef Talk, I make videos every week helping you to be a more successful reef keeper and this week we're talking about a great coral for beginners, the mushroom coral. Now research is a huge part of being successful in this hobby from online forums to reef magazines to reef clubs and internet videos, those are just a few ways to get great information. When I first considered adding a coral to my fish tank, I was constantly online, constantly researching and looking for that great coral that anyone could keep, something that was hardy, something that will work in my tank. And talking with other hobbyists and online research, I came across the mushroom coral. I quickly searched on where I could purchase a coral for my tank and I came across the post on Craigslist. This guy was selling corals out of his garage. I ended up driving 45 minutes to an hour and came back with three mushrooms on a rock. Two were red and one was green. Corellia morphs, an order of marine cnidarians, also known as mushrooms, are considered to be a soft coral because they lack the calcium carbonate skeleton that many LPS and SPS have in common. Corals like the frogsmont coral or a chalice coral. Mushroom corals adapt to a variety of different lights, so you, if you don't have the budget for the more high-end light fixtures, don't worry, mushrooms can thrive under a variety of lighting arrangements. Mushroom corals can be placed just about anywhere in your tank, from low on the sand bed to the middle of your rock work, and even up high on your rocks in your tank. Now, mushroom corals are considered to be a peaceful coral, but they grow really fast. Now, mushroom corals can be aggressive when they're placed next to other corals, so make sure you leave adequate space between them and the other corals you're keeping because they can sting other corals. For many of us in this hobby, one thing that has drawn us to corals is color. And mushroom corals have a variety of different colors from blue, green, red, purple, orange. There's just tons of variety if you're looking for a colorful reef tank and you're just starting out. Now let's take a look specifically as to why a mushroom coral makes a great beginner coral. Well, for one thing, they are very hardy. They can survive many parameter swings, including temperature swings, salinity swings. They can survive new tank syndrome and even algae outbreaks, just to name a few. The three mushroom corals I purchased years ago, I still have in my tank because they've grown and multiplied and I've also propagated them. These are easy corals to frag. You can cut a mushroom coral into half and even into quarters and it will grow and multiply and spread in your tank. You can also use these fragments to sell, make a little bit of money to go back into your newfound hobby. There's also many different genuses or species of mushrooms from Rhodactus mushrooms, which are the mushrooms that I have in my tank, and Recordia mushrooms, which in my opinion are some of the most beautiful colored mushroom corals that you can find. Well, besides the $6,000 bounce mushroom. But mushrooms in general are very affordable and very easy to find. So easy to find, easy to care for, easy to add color to your tank. The mushroom coral is an easy coral to keep. Thank you so much for watching this video. Leave me a comment down below on what coral for beginner I should talk about next week. And if you haven't already, check out this video on how to frag a mushroom and my top five corals for beginners. And remember to like, comment, subscribe, and we'll see you next time on the Coral Reef Talk.